welcome everyone to Strength Training for Seniors. Today, the equipment that we're going to be using are dumbbells. Um, if you have some lightweight kettlebells, some of, the ex some of the exercises are a little easier to hold on to a kettlebell too, but otherwise a dumbbell, I always recommend varying weights. So that depending on the exercise, you can go a little heavier or maybe a little lighter. And then um, we're going to be just using body weight also. So we have a little different setup for the exercises today. We're going to be doing four sets. In each set, there will be five exercises. The first one, we will be doing um, either arms or back, but we're gonna break it down first. So we'll do the first one as arms or back. The second one are legs, and we'll do just that one. The third one is a little core exercise. The fourth one is combining the first and second exercise. And the fifth one would be a repeat of our core exercise. So that would be one set, and we have four of those sets, okay? All right, so if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start with the warm up. I'm gonna be using my earbuds. I highly recommend you get a nice peppy playlist going to urge you on, okay? Here we go, march it out. Try to get those knees up. And then we're gonna do a side to side. Pump those arms. And kick to the inside. And then we'll kick those heels to the rear, pull those elbows back. Good, once more each side. Back to center, half jack, step wide. Sweep those arms up. Good, once more each side. Center and squat. Try to keep your chest lifted, keep your head above your heart. Good, two more. Good, here we go, back to marching. Take those knees up. Go side to side. Good. And kick the heels in. Good. Then we're going to go to the rear. Good. Back to center, wide, half jack. And some more each side. Back to center, squat, push that weight back in those hips. Two more. Good. 
Come on up, widen your stance a little bit. Clasp those hands up and down. Good, last time here. Release those hands and sway. Good, back to center, bring the arms out, shoulder height, fingertips in. Hold those fingertips, reach it up. Bring those fingertips back down in some elbow circles. Good. Reverse. And then open and close. Good. All right. Shake those arms out. Grab a drink. Make sure you've got your water. The first set, first exercise, is going to be a bicep curl. So pick up the dumbbell. That's the appropriate weight for you. Let me grab a drink. All right. So we're going to do 15 repetitions of a bicep curl. We're going to have the palms facing each other. As you stand here, keep those abs tight. Knees have a little bend in them. Elbows close to the body. Here we go. This is 10. Good. Three more. 13. 14. 15. Up to you. You can hold on to the weights if you like, or you can put the weights down. Our next exercise is a forward lunge. So I'm going to go ahead and put mine down. If you need a chair beside you for this one, um, go ahead and grab the chair. I'd rather you be safe. All right, so we're just gonna do an alternating front lunge. Looks like this, step, drop that back knee, push off the front leg, come back, and you're gonna alternate, all right? Let's start with the right leg, forward, back, and then left. Good. When you bend, don't let that front knee go past your toes. So that means you're going to have to drop that back knee down. Don't go too wide. Keep your balance. Bend your halfway. Four, go to one, three, two more each side, two, last one here, and left. Good, rest it out. Take a few seconds between each one. All right, for our core exercise, now our third exercise, you are gonna pick up your weights. So standing up nice and tall, feet about hip width apart, we're gonna do a side bend, come back to center, and then the other side. Arms just stay uh, loose, hanging down alongside the body, holding the dumbbells. Keep your abs tight. Here we go. We'll start on the right. Inhale. Exhale. Good. Good. Halfway. Good. 
once more each side. Good. All right, go ahead and put the dumbbells down. Again, we'll take a few seconds, about 30 seconds here to rest. Grab a drink if you need to. All right, while you're resting, the fourth exercise is that combining of the first and the second. Now, I want you to be safe. If you need to hold on to the chair, I'm going to show you uh, an alternative. So, when we step forward to the lunge, we're going to curl and step back. If you need to hold on to the chair, do your lunge and then curl. Okay? So, you may be behind us a little bit, that's okay. Just do what you can. Again, I want you to be safe. So we'll do that alternating lunge now with a bicep curl. All right, and we're going to do eight of those. Eight is right, or one is right and left, okay? I'll count it out, here we go. Just eight, seven, six, Four, three, two, once more each side. Good. All right, back to center. Put the dumbbells down, shake out those hands. You got 30 seconds. Grab a drink. Between sets, we will be resting for a minute. Ooh, I can feel my heart rate go. All right, so. Exercise number five, remember we're going to come back to side bend. You don't have to use weights, it's really for any of this. If you feel it's a challenge just using your body weight, then do that. All right, come back to standing. Keep those abs tight. Here we go. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, halfway, three, two, last one. Good, all right, that's the first step. You've got a one minute break here. So go ahead and put your dumbbells down, shake it out, grab a drink. Walk it out. I don't know why, but my nose always runs. I wonder if you guys have that same. Issue, make sure you have your Kleenex nearby then, too. All right, about 30 more seconds. I will go ahead and show you the first exercise now for the second set. We just worked the biceps, now we're gonna work the triceps. I'm gonna stand sideways so you can see me. I'm keeping uh, my knees soft my abs tight. I'm going to hinge forward about 45 degrees, bend the elbow, and then kick it back. Try to keep the upper arm from moving. So kick it back, kick. All right. 
So go ahead and get into position. We have 15 of these. Okay, ready? Here we go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, last one. Good. Rest it out. Open and close those fingers. All right. So 30 seconds here. Rest it out. While you're resting, I will show you exercise two. So we did a forward lunge. We're going to go backwards. So again, up to you. If you want to hold your dumbbells, you can. But we're just going to alternate to the rear. Step back, then the knee. This is going to be easier than that forward lunge because you're not putting as much pressure on the knee. All right? So again, up to you. If you need the chair, hold on to the chair. All right, actually, I'll put these down for now just so I can. And then obviously, we're going to be picking them up here in a minute. All right, we've got. Um, how many did I do? Eight of these, but remember eight is right and left. All right, here we go. Start with the right. Six, eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, one. Other side completed. Good. Walk it out. Thirty seconds. I'm just going to put that to the side. All right, while you finish your rest, I'm gonna show you the third exercise, which is our core. All right, you're gonna come into the squat position, have your feet a little bit turned out. It's gonna be a wide squat. So what you're gonna do is bend right here in those leg creases. You're gonna to come to about a half squat. We're going to hold it. We're going to extend our arms out, clasp your hands, leave your index fingers pointed up. So it's called the Charlie's Angel squat. So it looks like you're pointing it down. And then we're going to turn to the right, center, turn to the left. So it's all from the waist, the turning. Okay? All right. So here we go. Come into position. Again, just make sure those feet are wider than your hips. Turn down a little bit. Come into that half squat. Send those arms. You have 30 seconds. Let me get my song going. And begin. Exhale as you turn. Good. Let's do one more, each side. Good, all right, rest it out. All righty. So now for exercise four, we combine the first and the second one. So grab those dumbbells. We're going to combine the alternating rear lunge with our tricep extension. So it's going to look like this. As I step back, I 
pump the arms back. And then center, press, press. Okay? All right, come into position. We have eight of these. Ready? Begin. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Other side to finish. Good. Put those dumbbells down. Rest it out. All right, a couple more seconds. We're going to come back to our Charlie's Angels squat. Wide those feet. All right, here we go. Half squat, come down, extend those arms. Good, back, stay straight, shoulders down. Here we go. Exhale, right, center. On about five more seconds. Good. Once more, each side. Good. Rest it out. All right. That's the end of our second set. We're going to take a little break here again to grab some water, bring that heart rate down a little bit. I'll meet you back here for set three and four. All right, let's go ahead and continue on with set three and four. So remember in each set, we have five exercises. So the first one we're going to do is an alternating lateral raise. So here's where you may want to drop the weight down a little bit, depending on your shoulders. Remember, with a lateral raise, if that's too much to come up to shoulder height, then just do 45 degrees, okay? So I'm going to be picking up some lighter weight because I have elbow issues and stuff. I do not, you know, try to push it with heavier weight. It's better to stay on the lighter side. All right, so standing up nice and tall. Again, you're gonna tighten those abdominals. Keep a little bend in the knee. Shoulders stay down. So just alternating arms, right, left. All right, here we go. We're going to do uh, about 30 seconds. I'll time it out here. Two, we'll try to get at least eight, maybe 10. Great. Of course, you're doing however many you can. Good. Let's do two more each side. Last little rep here. Good. All right. Rest it out. Now, up to you if you want to hold on to the dumbbells or not. We're going to be doing a side squat. So while you're resting, because you've got a 30 second break here, let me describe what you're going to do. So you're just going to step a little wider than hip width. You're going to squat, come up, step back to center. Step to the left, squat, back to center. Now, when you squat, Remember, don't bring the chest forward. Keep your chest up. Push the weight back in those hips because you don't want your knees going past your toes. Okay? 
All right, go ahead and come back to center. We'll start by going to the right. Here we go. Wide, squat, up, center. Step wide and squat. Good. You're going to do eight of these. Remember that's right and left. That's two, three, Four, six, you're halfway, here we go, five, six, good, you've got two more on each side, seven, Good, last one, right and left. Good, rest it out. Remember to grab a drink whenever you need it. Or if you feel your heart rate's getting up too high, just pause the tape, bring that heart rate down a little bit, and then continue on. All right. So while you finish resting, I'll explain exercise three, which is the core. So we're going to come back to just standing with the feet hip width apart. You're going to keep those abs tight. We're going to pretend we're kayaking. So hands come in the front. You're just going to make two loose fists. Now a kayak paddle is a big long paddle with the oars at the end. So you have to take it dip to one side, come up, dip to the other. Looks like a figure eight. Keep the hands somewhat together as you do that. And that's all we're gonna do, just this dip to the right, dip to the left. All right, here we go, have 30 seconds. Begin. Keep those abs tight. Good. 10 seconds. Center in that kayak. Dip, dip, dip. Here we go. Last time. Good. Rest it out. As you can see, I picked up my, my handy uh, wipe here. All right. So again, you have a 30 second break here. For our fourth exercise, we're going to combine the first two. So remember that was our lateral raise with our side squat. So let me show you what it looks like and then we'll get started. So you're gonna stand in the middle. You're gonna step wide. As you squat, you're gonna bring the right arm up and then step back to center and left. Send the arm. Okay, now remember, you can just go 45 degrees. Listen to your, your shoulder. If you feel any pain or discomfort, don't bring it all the way up. All right, go ahead and get in position. And we're going to do eight of these, remember, right and left. So here we go, start on the right. That's eight, seven, Five. Remember to keep that chest lifted. Four. Weight back in the hips. Three. Two. Good. One more each side. Good. Rest it out. Go ahead and put your weights down. 
take a break. All right, you have a few more seconds. So for our fifth one or last one of this set, we're just gonna repeat our kayak heat. So working those obliques. All right, here we go. Come on back to center. Remember, keep a little micro bend in the knees. Don't hyperextend them. Abs stay tight. Loose fists in front. Begin. Good. Keep breathing. Five more seconds. Good. Back to center. All right. Rest it out. You've got a minute here. We're between the third and the last set. So grab a drink. Again, if you feel like your heart rate is a little high, just pause the tape for a couple more seconds. Take however long you need to feel like you can breathe through your nose again. That means you're pretty much back to your normal breathing. And then just pick up that fourth set when you can. All right. Great. A couple more seconds. Um, while we're waiting, let me go on to the first exercise of our last set. So we're going to be working the upper back, called an upright row. Now again, be cautious of the shoulders. Um, let me show you the exercise. So uh, I'll, I will also show you an alternative if this bothers your shoulders. So bringing the hands to the front of the thighs, my palms are facing my thighs. I'm going to extend the elbows, lift the weights up, just coming right up the body, okay? If that's too much, if you're feeling that or you're hearing things that you probably shouldn't hear, then bring those arms to the side and come up this way, just towards the armpits, okay? So modify how you need to. Again, same stance, tight abs, little micro bend in the knees. All right, go ahead and prepare. All right, let's do 30 seconds. We'll try to do 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, that was exactly 30 seconds. So go ahead and rest that out for a second. Just open and close those fingers. All right, while you're taking your 30 second break here, I'll show you the leg exercise. We're going to be doing a dead lift. So you'll want to grab your dumbbells again. Now I'm going to turn sideways so you can watch my form. Um, a couple of weeks ago, we did a deadlift, a one-arm deadlift, and we pretended we were putting a suitcase down on the floor. That's what I want you to think of, only this time we're doing both arms. So you're going to be hinging from your hips. If your hamstrings are tight, then keep a little bend in the knee but I don't want you rounding and bending from the waist. Make sure it's from the hip. So it looks like this. I'm imagining I'm setting something down so now my back stays straight. I'm just gonna come about mid-shin and back up. So it's just this hip hinge and down. If the hamstrings are tight, just keep a little bend in the knee. The important thing is the back is straight. 
Okay, let's come into our beginning position. All right, we're going to do 12 of these. Should be about 30 seconds. All right, ready? Here we go. Well, the arms just hang here. We're not doing anything. 11, but holding on to the weight. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Put those dumbbells down, rest it out, open and close those fingers, shake them out. All right, give you a couple seconds here again, about 30 seconds. All right, we're on our third exercise. You've got three more to go of this set. So we're gonna work the core. This one's not only the core, but a little bit of balance too. So let me show you what you're gonna do. It's called a leg clock. If you need your chair, grab your chair so you have it to the side. We'll start by shifting the weight into the left leg. Okay, you can do whatever you want with your arms, whatever helps you, out to the side, on your waist, just along the side of the body. You're going to point that right toe, 12 o'clock, sweep it around to the back, six. 12, six, see what I mean? <laughs> All right, so it's 12, six. And I went too fast that time. Don't go too fast because that's gonna uh, make you more unsteady. Okay, again, use your chair if you need to. I find a spot out in front of me, keep my eyes still, and that helps a lot. All right, let's come into our prep pose here. So extending those right toes, that's your 12 o'clock. We're gonna do eight of these. Ready? Six, seven. Now, if this is too much, again, you can just tap. You don't have to bring your leg up as you sweep it to the side. Good, I think if I counted right, we've got three more to go. Good, last one. Whoop, good thing. All right, walk it out. Obviously, we'll do the left side when we get to the fifth one. All right, so we're going to put together our deadlift and our upright row. This is exercise number four. I'll give you a couple more seconds to rest it out. You can grab a drink whenever you need to, but we're almost done. All right, so I'll stand sideways so you can see me. So we'll start with our deadlift and then go right into our upright row, all right? Okay, so here we go. Hands to the front of the thighs, palms facing the thighs. Start with your deadlift. Here we go. Let's do 10, nine, eight, Six, five, four, remember to keep that back straight, you're hinging, three, and you're just coming about mid-shin, you don't go to the floor here, two, all right, last breath. Good. Put those dumbbells down. All right, 
rest it out. Great job. We hit a lot of the muscles. We have yet, to, we're going to do our clock here, and then we'll get into our stretching. So there is a light at the end of the tunnel here. All right, remember, put your chair on the right side now, if you need to, to hold on to it. Otherwise, find that gazing point, shift the weight over to the right leg, left toes at 12 o'clock. Here we go. Bring it to six, and then back through. That was two. Don't go too fast. Four. Five. That's six. Let's get two more in. Last one. Good. This is my stronger side. So, and I'm sure you've had that too. So, a little less swaying and things like that. But keeping your eyes still whenever you balance helps immensely. So, all right, shake it out. Great job. Let's get to our stretching. Oh, grab a drink first. Let's bring that heart rate down. Keep your chair nearby if you need it for the leg stretches. All right, let's start with the upper body. So we'll take that right arm, bring it across, tuck it in with the left arm or forearm, and then open and close those right fingers. And some circles. And reverse. Good, switch arms. Pull it in, hug it in, open and close, left fingers. Circles. And reverse. Good. Let's stretch out the triceps, starting with the right arm, sweep that arm next to the ear, bend the elbow. Again, take that left hand, press that elbow up if you can, or grab it and pull it in towards your ear. Try to keep the chin up, not dropped. Good, keep the back straight. Good, and then switch sides, so bending that left elbow. Again, either pressing that elbow up or grabbing it and pulling it towards your ear. And breathe, continue to breathe. Good, and then release that left arm down. And then clasp the hands. And then turn those palms forward. Keep the shoulders down as you reach through those palms. Good. And then release. If you can, bring the hands around behind you, clasping them, squeezing the shoulder blades. If not, just take those palms, press them towards each other, and squeeze the shoulder blades. And then looking up a little bit. So basically, we just want to get a nice stretch through the chest, front of the shoulders. Good. And then release, shake it out. And then holding on to your chair or finding a little spot on the wall. So I'm going to use the wall over here. We'll start with that runner stretch. So stepping the right leg back, bending the left knee to you feel a stretch in the calf, down into the Achilles tendon. Good. 
and then switch legs. And now we want to try to hit the hamstring. So I'm going to show you if you're at the wall already, just step those feet back a little bit. Keep your head above your heart, press into the wall. You can also do a standing hamstring stretch here if you want to hold on to your chair. Just extend the leg with the heel down, toes up. You get a little deeper stretch on the wall. Sometimes you don't always have the wall nearby. Of course, you can do it on the back of the chair. That would be our down and facing dog and carry with them. Okay. And you can do this seated too if you want to sit in your chair. Good. All right, coming back up to standing, we'll do a quad stretch. So let's start with that right leg, bending the knee. Again, hold on to your chair, maybe place a hand on the wall, and then flexing the knee, bending that knee, and then wherever you can hold on to it, the shin, the ankle, top of the foot. It's also a great <laughs> balance exercise. Just my right leg, remember, which is my not as steady side. Good. Usually I would do this up against the wall. And then try it on the left. Continue to breathe. Try to keep that knee that's bent pointed down towards the floor or the thigh. Um, perpendicular to the floor. Good. And then we'll stretch out those glutes. So this one you probably do want to have a hand on the wall or the chair. So coming back to bending the left knee and crossing the right foot over the left. You feel that out here in that glute. Come back to standing, switch legs, and try to do it out in the middle of the floor here. Keep breathing. The deeper you can come into that squat, obviously, the more you're going to feel it. Again, this is a great one to do in the chair. And then coming back up, release, walk it out. You guys did a great job. Thanks so much for joining me today. See you next time.